guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Now today we're talking about makeup and in what extent is the use of makeup necessary. I personally think there are four stages. The first stage is the use of the minimum amount of makeup. Second stage is the average amount. Third stage is the extended amount. And the fourth stage being the most extreme amount of makeup that you can put on your face. Now my personal accepted stages are one and two. The rest leaves me to think of women who are insecure about themselves. But why? Well, there can be many reasons. So I won't go into that too much. A lot of women choose to put on makeup to actually be more attractive to the opposite sex. This is the fashion industry that actually depicts on the vulnerabilities of a woman. So in this case, it's saying use makeup or you're ugly and nobody wants you. The idea is that women won't feel naked and therefore get a little bit more confidence and that the opposite sex will see them standing or even a mutual attraction will be created. Now, if this would be a perfect world, makeup wouldn't exist, but it isn't. So therefore we need to pick and choose what we do in life, whom to follow or to listen to. But at the end, it comes down to Will people accept me? Look, strip clubs and all these other places where women actually sell themselves using makeup in extreme is a part of the job description because there are idiot men who really think women look like this and this because of the fashion industry. Some women are so obsessed by the fact that they need to be accepted by everyone and especially by the opposite sex. Now women, let me tell you this. You have the upper hand. You know this, right? You can control men just by smiling, just by flicking your hair back. Men love that shit. And still you feel the urge to use makeup in extreme. If a guy likes you, he likes you. If he doesn't because you're what? Too thin? Too fat? Too tall? Too small? Come on, whatever. Don't waste your time on finding out. Let it go. Worldwide, women are using too much makeup. I'm not saying don't use makeup, just saying let's bring it back a notch. It actually puts pressure on a relationship that is based on an illusion waiting to explode in your face. In this case, actually fooling the opposite sex and hooking a man. What do you think is gonna happen when you are removing your makeup? Showing the opposite sex whom you actually are underneath all that makeup. Will he accept you? Yes or no? That is a very big risk. And actually taking stage one and two, you can hook a nice, decent, good looking guy that will stay with you for the long haul. Now I know a lot of women, especially in my family, whom use extreme amounts of makeup, like the picture here. I just asked them, why do you use this much makeup? And almost all of them start with the same, what are you talking about? I'm not using too much makeup. And by actually pushing, the real answers come to light. One saying, because it appeals to the opposite sex. The other, because they want to feel more confident. They feel insecure about themselves or about their skin. But I also found that there are exceptions. Like when you have a skin condition, you need to cover it up or any scars or whatever you have that you want to cover up. I understand. But still, you're creating this illusion of something you're actually not. Putting yourself out there is a scary thing. But the world is scary. The only thing you can do is actually say, fuck it, I'm happy with myself. That takes courage. And the question is, do you have that? As you all know, makeup isn't that good for your skin. It doesn't matter if it's environmental friendly or human friendly or organic. Don't fall for that stupid stuff. They are trying to sell you shit. And at the end of the day, you're encouraging this industry to create more shitty stuff, to create more insecurity in your life. Your face is suffocating with all that makeup. That's why your skin is so dry when you remove your makeup. You know what they created for that, right? That's right, moisturizer to help your dry skin. But what does it do to your skin in the long term? What do you think it does to you? when you don't drink enough water or are not able to breathe properly. The fashion industry plays this game that they call I know better, but I won't tell you. And guess what? If you find out your skin is damaged, well, you just go back to using more makeup to cover it all up. And if you're thinking, well, I'm young, I don't give a shit. 
Well, you should. Things you do now will eventually F you up later in life. But don't get me wrong, I respect women. Just want women to feel more confident and powerful. Feel good about yourself. Prove to yourself that you can be a respective person and don't take any bullshit from everyone. People will always be negative idiots. Annoying little brats that won't shut up. But think better. Think stronger. Alright guys, thanks so much for listening. And if you have any comments, please put them down below. Thanks so much. Take care and until next time.